everyone, it's Jennifer. I know it's not Wednesday, so it's not my normal update, but I was tagged in a video question, and I thought, I'm at work, I'm all gussied up. It's a good time to do one. Um, I am going to tag three people that um, normally comment on my videos. So I am tagging Hello VSG 2016, Dory's VSG Journey, and Esther's VSG Trek. I'll name your names at the end of the video. Here are the questions. I was tagged by Smaller in NC. I think that's the, her name. I don't think there's anything else in it. But I was tagged by her. So here's 11 questions. Hopefully I wrote them right. When did you gain weight? Um, I was pretty thin my childhood, my teen years. It was about the time I got pregnant with my oldest. My oldest son is, he'll be 24 in September. Um, before having him, I was 135. By the time I had him, I was 190. I lost his 10 pounds. He was a 10 pound baby. Um, so I was pretty close to 200 at that point because I left the hospital about 190s. Um, shortly after that, I got on the birth control shot called the Depo shot. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. I gained quite a bit of weight. Um, I was in a very um, abusive mentally, physically sometimes relationship with him. So I put on some weight, but not a whole lot. Um, left that relationship, got with my youngest son's dad. My youngest son will be 20 in December. Um, I put on some weight, married to him. Um, I guess just didn't really care. Um, he didn't care. I didn't care. Um, but I put on most of my weight and it's not my husband's fault, my current husband's fault, but I put most of my weight on since being with him. I was bigger when I was with him. I would say I was probably 250s. I don't know. Somewhere between my youngest son's dad and probably 2014, I lost track of my weight. But I would say I put most of it on since 2007. Um, that's when we started dating. He likes the bigger girls, so hey, I didn't care. We enjoyed food. Um, so yeah, I. that's how I, I, I gained most of my weight, just not caring, not paying attention to that. I'd go to the doctors and obviously they would weigh you, but it slipped my mind. I don't know how much I weighed during that time. Um, am I an emotional eater? 100% yes. I am a stress and anxiety eater. I'm not a type of person that, um, I'm not a social eater. Um, if I'm out and about and I'm on the road and I'm busy, I don't even think about eating. It's when I'm stressing about something or I have anxiety about something. That's when I peck the face. <laughs> um, I guess I just don't know how to deal with stress and anxiety. So there's a yes. Um, how long have you dieted? Um, I guess I didn't really do much dieting in the past. Um, I think uh, probably 2007 I was considering weight loss surgery. God bless, I didn't get it because I was going to get the band. <laughs> and we all know how those turned out. Um, just the luck of the draw, lost insurance, so I wasn't able to get it. So I was kind of dieting then, but most of my dieting was between 2014, 2016. Um, got on a scale next to a woman that I felt was a lot bigger than me, and we weighed the same. I was shocked. She was probably about up to my shoulder. I'm 5'7", she was probably 5'2", if that. But she was much rounder than me and as soon as I found out that we were the same size I was so disgusted in myself so I would lose weight I would get down and my goal was get down to 300 pounds I would get to 302 301 and just stop and then I would put it all back on again um, it wasn't until 2017 
so just before weight loss surgery that actually no probably mid 2016 I apologize um because I did get under 300 pounds before 2017 it was just a matter of talking to a dietitian sorry <laughs> something in my mouth um and it wasn't a matter of dieting it was a matter of getting on my fitness pal and logging my food and going from whatever I was getting calorie carb wise down to I think I dropped it down to 2000 or 2500 calories and then I dropped it down to 2000 calories and then I dropped it down to like 1600 calories and I stayed at the 1600 calories for a long time and that's how I lost weight and it wasn't a matter of cutting things out it was a matter of a lot of portion sizing so I didn't really diet yeah I did drink more smoothies homemade smoothies at home um, and I drank more protein shakes type of thing but I didn't really diet until just before surgery um, and obviously if you've watched my journey obviously it worked I lost a hundred pounds just doing that on my own um, number four, um, am I following any diet? Not really. Um, I'm able to, if I really wanted to, I could eat anything I want, but I choose not to. Um, I would like to dabble in the keto diet, but there's some things about it that scare me. High fat, um, scares me because I don't have a gallbladder. In the old me before diet, anytime I would have anything high fat go right through me. TMI, but it go right through me. So I fear having high fat. I fear having high calorie. Even right now, I'm dabbling in like 1,200, 1,300 calories even at my 10 months. And I feel like that's too much compared to other people that I follow. So... To eat a um, keto style diet, your calories are going to be higher because you're eating higher calorie foods. Yeah, my carbs would be less, which I'm very carb and salt sensitive, I am finding out. Um, whether or not I get to it, I don't know. I'm still scared about it. Um, I'm not judging anybody that does do it or don't do it. I just don't currently follow any diet per se. Um, number five, have I cut out any foods? Yes and no. Um, I, I've cut out pasta tremendously since before, or yeah, since, since surgery. Um, once in a while, if I make macaroni and cheese for the family, I'll take a forkful, but I don't like the way it makes me feel. Um, I have dabbled in mashed potatoes a few times when I was early out from weight loss surgery. Um, it was on the list of things I could take or, or take in and instant potatoes were on there so I did dabble in that a couple times. Um, rice, I had rice once. It was one of those you can know, microwave it so I was able to get like three meals out of the one little container. So. I had it once, but three times, if you know what I mean. I didn't like the way it made me feel. So I haven't dabbled in a lot of starchy foods in that manner, in pastas. But as far as anything else, have I cut out sweets? Um, I will eat them from time to time, but in a lot smaller um, portions, because I don't know where my limit of dumping is. Um, just to give you kind of a weird example, husband and I um, went to Taco Bell the other day and I got loaded nachos, but steak, and I ate the, the topping and, of course, a few chips. Um, so, of course, there's potatoes there, but I'm not eating like a potato. But anyhow, he had some of those um, cinnamon sugar things. Um, don't know what the name of them are. I had one. And I ate it, it was too sweet. I was in the store and I felt the heart palpitations that I think is dumping, but I really don't know if that's dumping or not, but I think that's my dumping. Just from one of those little twist thingies. So I don't know where my sugar is. Um, here at work, my boss has like little bite-sized um, candy bars. 
I've been able to have two at a time and not have an issue. Um, in the past, I was able to have a bite of my son's birthday cake, and I was fine that day. But the next day, I took a bite, and I dumped. Again, that heart palpitation, felt like I was running a race, um, shakes. So to me, that's my dumping, but I've not had a full-on dumping syndrome. Anyhow, I'm off track. So I stay away from sweets because I don't know where my limit is. Um, have you had success on past diets? Like I said, I've not really did a whole lot of dieting um, per se. Of course, I did the Atkins diet back when it was the phase. Um, I did some Weight Watchers, failed at that. Um, but the only diet, if you really want to call it a diet, was like I said, the big, the middle of 2016 until just before surgery when I just did portion sizing. Um, so I really um, didn't really have a favorite diet. <laughs> um, do I, number seven, do I follow any workout plan? No. <laughs> um, I try to at least go to the gym once or twice a week. Um, I was doing good by walking um, around the neighborhood, at least on the other days that I didn't go to the gym. But I don't know what's going on with my knee. Um, I take advantage of the good days that my knee doesn't hurt. And I, I try to exercise and it just hurts. I'm in the process of getting um, gel shots in my knee. It could take one, well, obviously the first one ain't going to work, but it could take up to five. And I've already had one this coming Thursday is two. So we'll see. But my knee keeps me from exercising. I know it's a lame excuse because there's a lot of other people that I watch that hurt more way than me. Hurt more. Hurt way more than me. And they're busting in the gym all the time. So I know that's not an excuse, but that's my excuse. Um, what are your fa What are... What are your favorite diets? Um, okay, I again, I'm interested in the keto diet, but I'm not on board 100%. Um, I think I could probably do a, I don't wanna, I don't, I guess, is it paleo? Not vegetarian. I could get away with not having meat, but I love dairy and I love eggs. So I'm not sure, I don't think that's vegetarian. Cause I think veget maybe that is vegetarian. Cause paleo, you can't have that other stuff, right? I don't remember. <laughs> but yes, I could probably get away with not having meat. I'm not a huge fan of meat, but I could probably do away with meat as long as I could have like seafood. Like lobster and shrimp. At least that's a good protein. <laughs> um, number, um, oop, that was number eight. So number nine. How much do you want to lose? Um, if you follow me on my regular journey, you know that I've already hit goal. My first goal I made was 170. And as of today, I was 168.8. <laughs> um, so... I did lower my goal down to 165, but to be honest with you, when I was 161, I didn't look at my belly as being as bloated as I feel that it is. And maybe it's just me getting used to my loose skin that I feel like I've got a bloated belly. Obviously, if I show you, you ain't gonna see it because my my shirt's black. But I don't I don't remember feeling like I was bloated in my midsection as much as I am now. I would love to see 160. So I, I guess I would like to lose eight to 10 pounds by my year. But like I said, I already hit goal of 170. So me dancing around in these mid 160s, I'm kind of just getting used to it. I don't think I'm gonna, I, I seen 165 on Saturday. 
and I jumped up three pounds. <laughs> so I, I don't know, it's like I see 165 and I freak out. It's too low and then I eat a bunch of crap and I gain it. I am way off subject. Number 10, do you feel you are addicted to food? Yes, I am. Um, not before surgery. I didn't think I had a food addiction at all. But since weight loss surgery, I noticed, yes, I am a binge eater. Um, I binge mostly on like crackers, mixed nuts, popcorn, um, fruits. Is there a reason why? Either the stress or anxiety. That's usually the cause of it. Um, I always thought, maybe it's me being naive, I always thought a binge eater was somebody that ate and threw up. I know that's called something else, I just don't know, but in my mind in the past, I always thought that's what a binge eater was. No, I've learned a binge eater is somebody that can just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat, eat and never get full. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Anyhow, um, number 11, are you comfortable in your body now? For the most part, yes. Things I'm not comfortable with, that I don't like that at all will I ever get arm surgery probably not but look I do good I, I do got a muscle in there but I hate mostly right there under my armpit all that stretch marks that's what I did to my body but I don't like it um I don't like my muffin top I never used to have a muffin top because I was just all one muffin <laughs> I didn't have a top <laughs> um and like, for instance, if I'm, like, semi-laying down on the couch and I got my leg legs propped up, try to envision this. I don't, I don't know if you can. But you're laying on the couch and you got your legs propped up on the couch. So your feet are on the cushion. Your legs are up. But I look at my hip area and I got bulges, like, in my inner thigh and outer thigh. Obviously, it's because the fat has dropped to that area. But I don't like that. Them are the things I'm uncomfortable with, but they are things that are hidden under clothes, unless you're wearing a, a short shirt like this at work. They all know I had weight loss surgery, so I don't care. And then when I see guests, my arms are down. They're not they're not up here like, hi, welcome to the spa. <laughs> Sorry, I pick on myself. But yes, I don't like this. I'll never be able to afford arm surgery, so I have to get used to it, right? The only way I'd pay for, or the only way I'd get it is if my insurance pays for it and I hear they don't. And I've seen so many of you women get arm surgery and it looks so painful. And it looks, I don't like the scars because I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can see some of my scars. There's, there's a couple screws in there. So I, I, in right there. I get keloids bad, and I know I get it on the back of my arms. I've got them on my breasts from having a breast reduction. So my body, the only place I didn't scar very bad is right here. I had, um, same reason for the, the one right here on my arm. I had ganglion cysts. Well, I had one here and, and one in my other hand. That's the only place that didn't scar that bad. Rest of me that I've had Scar or scars that's what I've got and I don't want that even if I had a pan my pantus removed that's the only way I can say it I don't want that scar and I know it's under my panty line and the only person that would see it is my husband but I don't want to see it either anyhow I have jumped way off squirrel subject um, so again I am tagging hello VSG 2016 I'm tagging Dory's VSG journey and Esther's VSG trek. So hopefully you three girls can play along and then tag three people. Keep this chain going. This is a good one, girls. I don't think I have any guys watching, so. All right, I gotta get back to work. It's been 20 minutes. Okay, we'll talk to you later. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.